from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. A year ago, a new eye opened in the sky, the James Webb Space Telescope. Since then, it has been revealing the hidden wonders of the infrared universe, from the first light of the cosmos to the birth of stars and planets. In our previous video, we showed you how Webb discovered the oldest stars, galaxies, and black hole in the universe, shedding light on the dawn of time. In this video, we will show you some of the amazing images and data that Webb has produced in its first year of science operations, covering topics such as star formation, our solar system, exoplanets, and galaxies. To start with, we will talk about a new image from Webb that shows a small star-forming region in the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex, a nearby nursery of stars and planets. The Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex is one of the closest star-forming regions to Earth, located about 400 light-years away in the constellation Ophiuchus. It is a vast cloud of gas and dust that spans more than 100 light-years across and contains hundreds of young stars and protostars. Protostars are baby stars that are still forming from collapsing clumps of gas and dust. They are not yet hot enough to start nuclear fusion in their cores, but they emit infrared light as they heat up. The new image from Webb shows a small part of the Rho Ophiuchi cloud complex that contains several protostars surrounded by disks of gas and dust called circumstellar disks. These disks are the birthplaces of planets, as dust grains stick together and grow into larger bodies over time. The image also shows jets of gas shooting out from some of the protostars, indicating that they are still accreting material from their disks. The image was taken by NERCAM in four different filters that correspond to different wavelengths of infrared light. 1.15 microns, blue, 1.6 microns, green, 2.1 microns, orange, and 3 microns, red. Each filter reveals different features of the scene. For example, the blue filter shows the scattered light from the dust in the disks. The green filter shows the thermal emission from the warm dust. The orange filter shows the emission from molecular hydrogen gas. And the red filter shows the emission from water vapor. By combining these filters into a single image, Webb can create a colorful portrait of this star-forming region that reveals its structure and composition in unprecedented detail. The image also demonstrates Webb's ability to observe faint infrared sources that are invisible to other telescopes. For example, some of the protostars in this image are so deeply embedded in dust that they cannot be seen at all in visible light, but they shine brightly in infrared light. This image is part of a larger survey of nearby star-forming regions that Webb is conducting as part of its early release science program. This program aims to showcase Webb's capabilities and provide data for the scientific community to analyze and learn from. By studying these star-forming regions, Webb can help us understand how stars and planets form and evolve, and how they compare to our own solar system. Webb is not only a powerful tool for studying distant stars and galaxies, but also a versatile observatory for exploring our own solar system. Webb can observe objects in our solar system that range from the Sun and its planets, to asteroids and comets, to the Kuiper Belt, and beyond. Webb can also study the atmospheres of the planets and their moons, looking for signs of weather, climate, and chemistry. One of the first targets that Webb observed in our solar system was Jupiter, the largest and most dynamic planet in our neighborhood. Webb used NERCAM and NEARSPEC to take images and spectra of Jupiter's atmosphere in different infrared wavelengths, capturing features such as the Great Red Spot, the polar auroras, and the swirling clouds and storms. Webb also observed Jupiter's four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, which have diverse geologies and environments. Webb's observations of Jupiter and its moons complement those of other missions, such as NASA's Juno spacecraft, which is currently orbiting Jupiter, and ESA's JUICE mission. By combining data from different sources, scientists can get a more complete picture of the Jovian system and its mysteries. Another target that Webb observed in our solar system was Mars, the red planet that has fascinated humans for centuries. Webb used NERCAM to take images of Mars in different infrared wavelengths, capturing features such as the polar caps, the volcanoes, the canyons, and the dust storms. 
Webb also used NERSPEC to measure the spectrum of Mars's atmosphere, looking for traces of gases such as methane, water vapor, and carbon dioxide. Webb's observations of Mars complement those of other missions, such as NASA's Perseverance rover, which is currently exploring the Jezero crater on Mars, and ESA's ExoMars mission. By combining data from different sources, scientists can get a more detailed understanding of Mars's geology, climate, and potential for life. Webb also observed other objects in our solar system that are smaller but no less interesting than the planets. For example, Webb observed Ceres, the largest asteroid and dwarf planet in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Webb used NERCAM to take images of Ceres in different infrared wavelengths, revealing features such as craters, mountains, and bright spots. Webb also used NERSPEC to measure the spectrum of Ceres' surface, looking for clues about its composition and history. Webb's observations of Ceres complement those of other missions, such as NASA's Dawn spacecraft, which orbited Ceres from 2015 to 2018 and revealed that it has a subsurface ocean of salty water. By combining data from different sources, scientists can learn more about Ceres' origin and evolution. These are just some examples of the amazing observations that Webb has made in our solar system in its first year of science operations. Webb has also observed Saturn and its rings, Uranus and its moons, Neptune and its moon Triton, Pluto and its moon Charon, several comets and asteroids, and many more objects that are waiting to be explored. By observing our solar system with Webb's infrared eyes, we can discover new aspects of our cosmic backyard that we never knew before. Webb is also a revolutionary observatory for discovering and characterization of exoplanets, planets that orbit other stars beyond our solar system. Webb can observe exoplanets in different ways, by taking direct images of them, by measuring their spectra as they transit or eclipse their host stars, or by using a technique called microlensing that relies on the gravitational bending of light by massive objects. One of the first exoplanets that Webb observed was HIP 65426b, a gas giant planet that is about 6 to 12 times the mass of Jupiter and orbits a sun-like star about 350 light-years away. Webb used NERCAM to take a direct image of this planet in four different infrared filters, 3 microns, purple, 4.44 microns, blue, 11.4 microns, yellow, and 15.5 microns, red. Each filter reveals different features of the scene. For example, the purple filter shows the scattered light from the dust in the planet's atmosphere. The blue filter shows the thermal emission from the warm planet. The yellow filter shows the emission from molecular hydrogen gas. And the red filter shows the emission from water vapor. This was the first time that Webb used its coronagraphs, special masks within the instruments that block out the bright light from the star and allow the faint planet to be seen. The small white star in each image marks the location of the host star, HIP 65426, which has been subtracted using the coronagraphs and image processing. The bar shapes in the NERCAM images are artifacts of the telescope's optics, not objects in the scene. This observation demonstrates Webb's ability to take direct images of exoplanets, which is very challenging because planets are much dimmer and smaller than stars, and they are usually lost in the glare of their host stars. By taking direct images of exoplanets, Webb can study their atmospheres, temperatures, weather, and seasons. Another way that Webb can study exoplanets is by measuring their spectra as they transit or eclipse their host stars. A transit occurs when a planet passes in front of its star, blocking a small fraction of its light. An eclipse occurs when a planet passes behind its star, disappearing from view. By measuring how the starlight changes during these events, Webb can infer information about the planet's size, orbit, and atmosphere. One of the first exoplanets that Webb observed using this method was WASP-96b, a hot, puffy gas giant planet that is about four times the size of Jupiter and orbits a sun-like star about 1,150 light-years away. Webb used NIRIS to measure the spectrum of WASP-96b's atmosphere as it transited its star. The spectrum shows how different wavelengths of infrared light are absorbed or transmitted by different gases in the atmosphere. The spectrum reveals the unmistakable signature of water vapor in WASP-96b's atmosphere, as well as indications of haze and clouds that previous studies of this planet did not detect. 
Water vapor is a key molecule for life as we know it, and finding it in exoplanet atmospheres is one of Webb's main goals. However, WASP-96b is not habitable, as it is too hot and too large to have a solid surface. Webb's observation of WASP-96b's atmosphere is the most detailed of its kind to date, showing Webb's unprecedented ability to analyze exoplanet atmospheres with high precision and sensitivity. By observing more exoplanets with Webb, scientists can compare their atmospheres and look for signs of habitability and biosignatures, chemical clues that could indicate the presence of life. These are just some examples of the amazing images and data that Webb has produced in its first year of science operations. Webb has also observed black holes, supernovae, star clusters, nebulae, and many more objects that are waiting to be explored. By observing the universe with Webb's infrared eyes, we can discover new aspects of our cosmic origins and our place in it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our previous video where we talked about the discovery of the oldest stars, galaxies, and black hole by Webb. Stay tuned for more videos about Webb's amazing discoveries and observations. Until next time, keep looking up.